our next guest has been featured on Black Enterprise, Ebony, and Hello Beautiful. Child, with her new book, Soulful Sessions, 21 Days to Elevate Your Life, Honey, gaining all the momentum in the world, she's helping people refocus their energy and live their best lives. Please welcome Life Coach, radio host, and best-selling author, <laughs> Naya Brown Matthews. Yay! Hi, ladies. Okay, Hi. so Naya, look here, girl. <laughs> The people are always saying that they somebody life coach. Yes. Tell me what your definition of a life coach is and when did you know that this was your calling? The definition of a life coach is a woman who, or a person who helps you realign your goals, mm -hmm. help you reach the elevation up, to go to a level where you didn't think that you would necessarily mm. reach your own self, mind, spirit, and soul. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times with my women retreats, I notice that women still leave with a void because they're not dealing with the inside issues mm. and they need somebody to help streamline them. Mm -hmm. So that's where I think that, you know, I saw a need for it and so I jumped into it. That's good. Okay, so you already have a lot of titles. <laughs> yes. So I gotta know, you are the wife to NFL Super Bowl champ, Eric Matthews. You're also a mom, that right there is enough. Which is right? enough, that's we can enough. just close right. the we show down the and show. go home. Right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but balancing being a wife and a mom, all while pursuing your own passions, how do you do it? <laughs> Work-life balance, you do have to have that. I do, a lot of times I see career women try to figure out how they can have a successful life as well as a personal life, but, if you learn how to create the work-life balance, because you can be successful in both, having a life coach to help streamline that thing, to help push you to the next level, I think that a lot of times, and I love my husband dearly, but we women do wear a lot of hats, right? Yes, we do. Yes. We, and, and, and a lot of times, sometimes people think that you can't be successful in business mm -hmm. and in home, but again, we are amazing at multitasking, but you gotta reel that thing in sometimes and realize that sometimes I can't get to it today, but I'll get to it tomorrow. So streamlining, that's very that's important. Smart. And speaking of multiple hats, um, <clears throat> not only are you all of these amazing things, but you are also a survivor, a breast cancer survivor, surviving two bouts of cancer. Talk to us about what this journey was like. What is the biggest lesson that you learned about yourself and what is the biggest lesson that you learned about the people around you? Um, one of the biggest lessons I would say is I'm not always in control. Mm. God is. Message. Mm. <laughs> yeah. that, you know, cancer it. was a curse that saved my life because I was going on a road of just think working and not living my true life and, and sometimes equivalating things with happiness. But God has a way of just realigning me and telling me what's important in life because those shoes can't save my life, those cars can't save my life, that money in the bank can't save my life. So it aligned me on what was most important. And despite having it at 27 and again at 37, mm. my faith was not wavered. Mm. So I say that to say, what's really important to you in your life, to me is it's God, it's family, and then it's success. Wow. My God, in that order. In, in that, that order. order. Yes, and you are sharing your message. You have launched a women's empowerment brunch and weekend. So what is the most gratifying part of all of this for you? Women empowerment, I love it to my core. A lot of times with my retreats, women travel from all over to come and they get one of those things where you're transparent, you're vulnerable, which a lot of women don't want to do. We do one-on-one -on -one sessions, we do spa treatments, we do breakout sessions, we have speakers. And also with the retreats, well with the brunches, women network as well, have a delicious meal and have speakers to come in and pour into them. And I too give them some amazing golden nuggets to help them from the inside out. Mm -hmm. Because people gotta stop filtering. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Filters everywhere all on social media, you see it. But what about the inside part? Yes. That's what they I worry about. The the Exactly. No, that's right. And in your book, I'm sure you talk about this, 21, de uh, the Soulful Sessions, 21 Days to Elevate Your Life. Can you talk to us about how you lay out these 21 days for your readers? Normally, you know, a lot of times people love affirmations. Right. You see I love it a good affirmation. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but you My know goodness. what? We got to stop just leaving it at that, reading it and mm -hmm. move on. In my 21-day devotional, it allows you to put in the work. What are your goals? What are the things that you need to let go of? And so when you read the affirmation or the nuggets, as we call them, you actually have to put some work into it and come back to it. And every day I give you just that. Mm -hmm. Something that you can apply to your life, sometimes on a spiritual, mm -hmm. sometimes on a woman empowerment 
important is sometimes just as a whole, as an individual, because we struggle with some type yes, of something. We do. But the minute that you're being honest about it, mm -hmm. the minute that you're honest about it, you can That's then face it. Mm -hmm. You have to have the honesty. So I guess keeping going with that same subject, what strategy in your book do you hold most dear? I would say to continue to press on. A lot of times we're known for just starting and you, you get all excited about it, but then you find yourself falling off, right? right? It's, it's being strategic and following and pressing through, hands to the plow, don't look to the left, don't look to the right, but focus. And I think a lot of times when you do that, you'll start seeing some progress, and then you celebrate along the way. We don't do that. Yeah. We, we, we get the accolades, but we, do we truly celebrate? I did that, high five Smell yourself, right? Yes. yes, and then that makes you want to continue to press on. Yes, and really quickly, Naya, before we go, I just want to know, while you were writing your book, I know when I was writing mine, I had a million aha <laughs> moments. What was your one aha a moment about yourself that you had when you were writing your book? This is exactly what I was supposed to be doing from the day that I was born. Wow. That's beautiful. Yes. And that then there's fantastic. that. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much, <laughs> Naya, for joining us down to the circuit. You can get um, your copy of Naya's book, Soulful Sessions, 21 Days to Elevate Your Life, wherever fine books are sold. Wow.